assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel if you guys already know me thank you so much for watching and if you are new to my channel my name is Nandi Habib Khan and I used to make videos on DIY, skin care, hair care and etc. Lately I'm a lot of worried about my hyperpigmentation that I had from previous pregnancy that was like pregnancy mask all over my nose side of the nose and on upper lips and it's been increasing and increasing since i've used a lot of things previously i used admire my skin ultra brightening serum and it was like for a time being it worked when i stopped using it again everything was back i don't know why it's so but now i have seen these two things they are available over the counter it's called uh, uh, ambi fake cream and the face wash so this cream is available over the counter but honestly it has hydroquinone it's the active ingredient but this one is the previous formula now fda doesn't improve the hydroquinone to be sold over the counter so whenever you're gonna buy any cream that is the skin lightening agent you need to check the ingredients because nothing else works better than the hydroquinone and they're not allowing the hydroquinone I have seen on Walmart, Target, everywhere uh, this formulation has been changed hydroquinone is no longer available and uh, other than that they are using some other ingredient that is not effective at all so this cream, this is the original packaging actually I bought it from the pharmacy Walgreens and you can tell from the packaging that it's quite old although it's not expired it's expiry is uh, February 2024 and this is the cream pretty much used so it's active ingredients include hydroquinone 2% and octinoxate if I'm not wrong that is as a sunscreen 2% and hydroquinone everybody knows it that it's a skin bleaching agent and it says uses for the gradual fading of dark brownish discolorations in the skin such as freckles, age and liver spots, pigment in the skin that may occur in pregnancy or from the use of contraceptives, contain a sunscreen to help prevent darkening from reoccurring. Then they tell about the warning for external use only, avoid contact with eyes. Some users of this product may experience mild skin irritation. If the skin irritation becomes severe, stop use and consult a doctor. Do not use on children under 12 years of age unless directed by a doctor. This product is not for use in the prevention of sunburn. Then they give the direction. They say adults apply a small amount as a thin layer on the affected area twice daily or use as directed by the doctor. If no improvement is seen after 3 months of the treatment, use of this product should be discontinued. Lightening effect of this product may not be noticeable when used on a very dark skin. Children under 12 years of age do not use unless directed by a doctor. Sun exposure should be limited by using sunscreen agent, a sun blocking agent or protective clothing to cover bleached skin after treatment is completed in order to prevent darkening from the reoccurring. And they have written the ingredients plus they are telling about other products which they have is uh, MB complexion cleansing bar mb cocoa butter bar mb even and clear exfoliating wash that is this one and mb even and clear daily moisturizer sunscreen board spectrum spf 30. so i have just used these two things and this is the even and clear gentle exfoliating wash with salicylic acid acne treatment microbial gently helps help smooth skin clear up prevent acne breakouts it's old plus c web so it's ex exfoliating face wash and its active ingredients is salicylic acid 1.5% as acne treatment uses is for acne treatment they have given the warnings when using this product skin irritation and dryness is more likely to occur if you use another topical acne medication at the same time if irritation occurs only use one topical acne medication at a time either use this one or the other product that you are using then they have given the direction use every morning and evening red area first apply a dime sized amount to palm and create a lather 
gently massage over the face and neck rinse well may also be used on chest and back because excessive dryness of the skin may occur start with one application daily then gradually increase to two or three times daily if needed or as directed by a doctor if bothersome dryness or peeling occurs reduce application to once a day or every other day so this thing i don't think it's much of a use it haven't given me any benefits like my skin is already dry but i haven't noticed excessive dryness with the use of this i'll show you the texture of it it has small beads here you can see it has a soapy kind of texture it's not creamy at all and for the cream it's a uh, water soluble that i like much but what it does it clogged my pores and i was noticing more of the white hairs and black hairs i don't know why is it so even it's water soluble still it was like that and i got breakouts if they are visible i got breakouts even right after using this cream so i think it didn't suit me much i was applying it once a day like uh, only at night because i have sun exposure in the morning and i don't want it to be like my skin to more burn the sunburn and anything so i just applied it at the night but the face wash this one i used it twice a day i haven't noticed much of the difference like in the beginning first or two weeks i just noted noticed like after two months or one month like my um the bridge of the nose was getting clear but on the sides on the side of the nose where i had the visible dark spot it wasn't working well at all plus on my upper lip it wasn't working well i have seen all the time when i was putting on the foundation without wearing the concealer so you can see the spot over there already so i have started using another product so if you have very light pigmentation might be this product can work for you but i uh, like i'm having this hyperpigmentation from 2 plus years now i got it when i was pregnant with my baby so uh, i got the pigmentation at that time and it's almost like 2 and a half year or 2.45 months like that and this hyperpigmentation is quite stubborn i have used the home remedies and everything that was possible and every over the counter medication but nothing is working on me so now i'll be working something else like uh, working within the skin i'll be uh, using the micro needling treatment now hopefully it works plus i am noticing uh, light wrinkles um dehydrated skin i don't know it's because of this one or whatever my skin it doesn't look good at all uh, right now i'm wearing makeup but you can still see the spots over here the bridge of my nose here and i have on my upper lips i'll include the video that shows how my skin looks like before using the cream and after using the cream plus i'll be adding the days i'll be telling you how many days i'm been using this cream and this face wash yeah that's all and i bought it from walgreens and this um, there was sub total for both of them was 18 dollar and 47 cents um the fade cream was 8.99 and the face wash i guess was 7.99 yeah so it wasn't that much expensive but still it's of no use at least for me it's of no use i haven't seen much of the difference so that's all for today's video 
I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and if you like this video and you found it helpful please give this a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Till then take care of yourself. Bye bye. So this is my skin before using this cream and today is November 4th. We can definitely see the dark areas over the upper lips, bridge of the nose, side of the nose and a few dark spots on my cheeks. So here is a complete look. I'm using the face wash. I'm just gently rubbing it all over my face. I would recommend it. Do not rub it with the harsh hands and do not apply much of the pressure because it's beads. They don't dissolve within the water so they can create scratches over your face and they can give you rashes. So be gentle. I'll just... Uh, wash it after giving it a nice massage you can still see the beads they're not dissolving so i think their sole purpose is of scrubbing nothing else they're gonna do i'll just wash it Now I'm going to take the cream and I'll apply it as a thin layer for the spot treatment it is recommended that you apply it um, over the spots like you can see it. I'm going to apply it over the bridge of my nose, upper lips, specifically I'm targeting the areas where I have hypopigmentation and I don't want uneven skin to over my face so basically I'll apply it all over the face but focusing on the areas where it's needed much so I've used both of the products this is my skin after 10 days it's november 14th you can't tell much of the difference right now you can see all the dog spots there are still visible for 10 days i don't expect it to be much working but there is just a minor difference and this is my skin on 18th of december it's almost one and a half month you can still see the spots like my upper lips i hate these ones thank you so much for watching